as we've been intrigued by the recent new coming Dark Ride Jumanji based on the film series of the same name, we should use them as an alternative example of what would be expected should Universal consider integrating the Max Brooks novel-based zombie apocalypse thriller World War Z with Brad Pitt into a Universal Orlando theme park. While it's be set in the same universe as the movies, only one of which being made so far, somehow it be in comparison to the Jumanji ride newly at Garland Park in Italy, only it would be a very different or similar type of ride system with a similar narrative. Either one of the two parks, Universal would consider integrating the movie franchise into it, yet it soon shall in the near future. Despite it being under ownership by Paramount Pictures, either Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, the two current parks at Universal, are to follow the example of Warner Brothers, another film company which has, over the past decade, debuted Harry Potter World at Islands of Adventure and Diagon Alley at Universal Studios. The same as being said about Shrek being replaced by an IT attraction very soon at Universal Studios from the same film company that's distributed IT. Parts 1 through 2. Before all this, however, over 20 years before, regardless of Sony owning the rights to Men in Black film franchise, Universal Studios had then already debuted the famed Men in Black Alien Attack attraction. In honor of the iconic sci fi film franchise with Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, etc. For these reasons, it's proven my point that World War Z is to get the same theme park attraction. Treatment it deserves, whether it be a dark ride like Jumanji at Garland Park, a motion simulated bus ride with special effects physically like fire, such as Fast and Furious Supercharged at Universal Studios, or a possible addition to the upcoming Blumhouse Boulevard anticipatedly, replacing Toon Lagoon at Islands of Adventure. Despite the movie's success at the box office in 2013, however, they have not made its sequel so far. All the same, the World War Z attraction not like the one formerly at Subway Lagoon in Malaysia in the form of a walkthrough attraction could integrate a type of ride system of some sort. Thus it should shall eventually open under the theme park rights approved soon by Paramount. As a moonfall attraction is already in the works to replace the current man black ride at Universal Studios based on the hit 2022 sci-fi thriller of the same name, Universal should for now, roll the dice and pray that when their own two parks come through to this particular film IP very soon. Either way, if not, they would have to somehow integrate the attraction somewhere in the upcoming Epic Universe theme park, prone to open in 2024, a few miles south of the original Universal Orlando property. Any one of these parks would do for the ride based on World War Z, Discussing more on the ride systems for the Titalia attraction, we'll just see how it would fare and compete with even Garland Park's exclusive dark ride Jumanji. For one thing, my first idea of all would be that the attraction would be a hybrid of immersive plane theater show and 4D simulator all in one, based on the plane scene in the film where Brad Pitt as Jerry Lane takes on zombies on board, whether or not it would reprise Brad Pitt as Jerry Lane. The film's main protagonist for a concept like this, it would surely feel like we're in the middle of the action, literally. Otherwise, we go for a tower ride, not like Tower of Terror at Walt Disney World's Disney Studios. It would be similar to the upcoming Fantastic Beast ride at one of the lands based on the films of the same name, located at the highly anticipated Epic Universe theme park. The ride would be set in a city-wide safety zone in Israel, raided by the undead. You would then have to escape the swarming Z's zombies while evacuating Jerusalem as depicted in the film as well. Yet, there is a third and final thought. If neither cuts it, there's the possibility of a World War Z ride replacing Revenge of the Mummy that's been a Universal Studios for far too long. At least, in case they don't retheme that ride to the 2017 hit horror movie, The Mummy and or even converted to 4K 4D, similar to Escape from Green Gods at Diagon Alley, 
we already have a stunt show based on the Jason Bourne films in the place of the former Turnier 3D attraction. It would not make any sense to too early replace that particular attraction with a World War Z ride of any kind. Anyhow, whatever is to be in store for World War Z within the next five years or so, let's count on something resulting from it that's very interesting to the general public, whether the attraction will be set in New York City, Wales, or Jerusalem. I'm looking forward to seeing the same thing for myself when it soon opens at Universal Orlando. Please feel free to reply in the comments. Subscribe to Nathan Rigo also. That's my channel. Thanks for listening.